so I'm not, I don't have a script for this not not like rehearsed I just turned on my recording software and here I am so you know as the title suggests this is a uh, this is I'm, I'm just gonna like, talk about why I don't trust conspiracy theorists why I don't believe in the vast majority of them <laughs> I don't know where to start just um I guess I'm going to start with uh, how the theory for an event is always more complicated than how complicated the, it, 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 would, it would have to have been. Like, for instance, for instance take, the, take the Sandy Hook Massacre, right? take the Sandy Hook Massacre, for instance. If, if you were some maniacal, communo-Nazi dictator or whatever, they like coming up with a false flag to steal all the guns by shooting up a school. What would you? What what would you? What what would you do? Would you actually send a patsy to go shoot up the school, to go shoot up a school, or or recommission a school that was closed in the 90s, in which you would have to silence every. You would have to keep quiet or silence everyone who had anything to do with the school during its last few years of operation, everyone who was present for or took part in the school's decommissioning, everyone who was who attended that school in the last year of its operation, the staff, janitors, principal, teachers, students, you would have to involve the Department of Education, the superintendent of the school district, the st the uh, the government employees of the school district, the mayor of Newtown, the mayor of Newtown and all the pe and all the parents. I mean, I mean, they it just you just have to, you just balloon it outward and you just balloon it. It has to be bigger and bigger and bigger. The conspiracy has to be more complex. More people have to be involved instead of instead of just send a patsy to shoot up the school for real. Let's fake everything and risk everything with so many more unnecessary cogs and cogs and wheels and gears in this machine you only need one person you only need one guy to go to the school fire off his rounds and then pop himself in the head leaving no evidence but no no we need hundreds or thousands of people to pretend that something happened you mean like the, the freaking the theorist they say they say use your logic you need to use logic this is this is logical. You only need one person. You don't need to fake an entire. You don't need to build a fake town, populate it with thirty thousand fake people. You just need one guy and a real school. It's not. It's it's not that difficult. The conspiracy theorists they they believe in the new world order, right? They believe there's some satanic shadow cabal that's vying for world domination, and their ultimate goal is to like exterminate 90% of the human race. But for some reason, at the LAX at the LAX shooting, the two cops at the CC's Pizza and the Walmart, uh, freaking Sandy Hook, Aurora, Colorado, Tuscan, Ar Tuscan, Arizona, they've just for some reason, refused to actually kill anyone or hurt anyone on 9-11, 3,000 people dead, the subsequent invasion of Iraq, 500,000 people dead, but now they've just, for some reason, done this heel-face turn and had this tremendous change of heart. Like, you know, we, like even though we plan on bringing about the extinction of the human race, let's not actually kill anyone while getting to that point let's let's have actors pretend to be hurt instead of actually hurting people i mean so, some sometimes they outright refuse to provide they, they outright refuse to provide evidence and say no I, i'm not obligated to prove anything to you i don't have to provide you with any information go do your own research that is out that that is refusing to follow through with the scientific method which calls for repeated and independent testing in order to validate or to, in order to validate or refute a theory. Can you imagine if can you imagine if 
Galileo came to the scientific community and said that after years of, of investigation and experimentation and observation, I have concluded that the Earth revolves around the Sun. The Sun does not revolve around the Earth. And all the other astronomers and astrologers ask, ask, ask him to present his research and share his findings. And he says, no, do your own research, and then struts out like he won something. That's that's not how it works. That's not how science works. If if you if you make a claim, you have to, if you make a claim, you have to share you, you have to share your research. You can't just expect everyone to take your word at face value or demand that other people do your research for you. I mean, that's your that's your job. These theories, since so many of them are based on so little evidence, they can be as, as fanciful, as complex, or outrageous as you like. I mean, I mean there are a million different there are a million different theories for ev uh, for for every ev for every event. Take 9/11 for instance. The theories range all the, all the way from the government knew Al Qaeda was going to attack but didn't do anything, or was too incompetent to do anything. Or all the all the way to the government carried it carried out the attack themselves, or that there was a nuclear bomb in the basement. There were no airplanes. There was a, a satellite-based laser weapon. There was thermite charges where the planes crashed. Like, but I mean, if if you ram an airplane into the into the same level of floors where the thermite charges are, wouldn't the impact from the plane? dislodge or destroy the charges because i mean cause, i mean the, what was this like a 737 is like what thirty five thousand pounds thirty five thousand pound it's like convert thirty five thousand pounds to newtons multiply it by uh 500 miles an hour converted to meters per second and you'll get how and you'll get the uh the force of momentum that this airplane is hit that this airplane's hitting the building. I mean just a million different conflicting theories all claiming all claiming to be true, like it's all claiming to be true, like it's Sandy Hook. The theories range from right, range from uh, a government patsy shot up the school to the school doesn't even exist, that the entire town doesn't even exist, that it's all thirty thousand government actors how the heck they managed to do this i have no idea you realize like not see, you're hiring 80 year olds and 90 year olds to be actors as well which means the sandy hook the this sandy hook conspiracy would have had to have started in the in the 1930s the 20s but only now have they actually decided to do anything i don't get that and last, I guess, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be last. I might add something to this later. That it seems like only once in a blue moon are they actually are they actually right? Like take all the claims that Alex Jones has made over has made over the years. That in 1993 he claimed that in a few he claimed that in a few years, like Bill Clinton would mandate urine and blood testing. At at the uh, at the DMVs where you you get and renew your driver's license and that never happened, on his in his uh, New Year's Eve in his New Year's Eve uh, broad broadcast broadcast he made it sound like the end of the world was happening was happening right was happening right right that right then and there that food supplies food supplies in austin were running were running out power plants were shutting down across the country russia was deploying its nuclear arsenal that the new world order has come out full force i mean he literally said that they have come out full force and then the year 2000 happened and then 2002 happened and 2003 4 5 all the way to 2014 and we're still here we're still here. Ninety percent of the world hasn't been exterminated yet. How does he reconcile all these different all these different theories that the New World Order is going to exterminate ninety percent of the human race to have a um, a smaller a smaller population that's easier to control and repopulate the world with Latinos that they're going to genetically engineer the human race into goblin people? 
and turn themselves into cyborg, Nazi-esque Aryans. He claimed that by 2009, 2009, that the government was going to shut down the whole internet. Evidently, that hasn't happened. That thousands of astronauts have been used by the New World Order building another space station somewhere in the solar system. He doesn't know where, around what celestial body. Is it orbiting the moon? Is it orbiting Mars, one of Mars's moons? I mean, I, I mean, where, where is this space, where is this station being built? There was actually a petition written to the written to the White House asking the government to build the Death Star. The petition got the required num number number of votes for the White House to have to respond to it, and they respond and they responded and they responded saying that building the Death Star would cost about eight hundred fifty quadrillion dollars more than 1,000 times the worth of the, more than 1,000 times the value of the entire global economy today. So God knows how, how the New World Order is going to pay for this. Right, right, he's going to pay for, uh, for, an, for another planetoid space station, e even one-tenth as expensive or the size of the death star or that or or that there, or that there would be th 300 like he's like specifically said 387,000 soldiers in every major US city not bothering to do the not bothering to do to do the math on that that in order to occupy just the 50 US state capitals that just to occupy one city in each state would take 20 million soldiers. Where the heck are we going to get 20 million men from? The U.S. Army currently is only about 1 million men. So they would have to, they would have to suddenly increase the army by 20-fold. Oh, no, 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 they'll, 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 they'll just, like, the U.N. and the New World Order super state will just get other countries' soldiers. We'll just get uh, the whole rest of the world to mobilize 20 million men and invade the United States. You'd have to get the other countries to get public support to invade the U.S. How are you gonna? How are you going to make? How are you gonna make the British civilians want to invade the U.S.? How are you gonna get the? How are you gonna get the South Koreans and the Japanese and the Tur and the Turks and the Germans to? call for an invasion of America and then occupy this huge and then occupy this huge country the this huge country of over 300 million people never mind never mind the Never mind the logist never mind the logistics demand, the years of the years of military build up it would take finding staging areas to how finding staging areas to to collect all the men, materials, warships and supplies that <laughs> That, that no one in the US would notice that no one in the US would notice this humongous arms build up this humongous arms build up in Canada or Mexico and i suppose one of the one of the biggest one of the biggest reasons is this this the sense of superiority or arrogance or the sense of superiority or arrogance they have that they're the 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 enlightened they're the enlightened ones the awakened the aware conscious or any manner of or all manner of uh, of of feel good self congratulatory buzzwords that ever that 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 they see everything that no that no one else does oh my gosh there's subliminal me there's subliminal messages in everything that's because you actively try to make every that's it's because you actively try to make everything a conspir to make 
to make everything a conspiracy that just having a picture of a triangle on screen at anywhere on the screen oh my gosh it's subliminal brainwashing that if i were to take a sheet of paper if i were to take a sheet of paper draw a blank triangle on it that that is somehow brainwashing i mean what 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 kind of triangle works for the brainwashing mind control rays to efficiently come come off the paper? Does the triangle have to be equilateral? Can it be isosceles? What if it's scalene? What if it's scalene or a right triangle in any way? Is that, is that less effective or something? They 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 claim to be these independent, open-minded, free thinkers, but they all think the same thing that the government did everything, that every bad thing that ever happened is the government's fault because they try to make it. They try to come up with how it could, they try to come up with how it could be the government's fault. I mean, you can have a, I mean, you can have a deep distrust of the government. You can think, right? You can think that they're that 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 they're violate that they're violating constitutional rights with N with the NSA spying on the Fourth Amendment. That they're that that we're fighting too many. That we've overextended our military. The budget or the budget's broken. They're doing everything wrong. Right? They're doing everything wrong, and you don't trust them at all. But but if you don't go as far as the theorists do, if you don't, if you don't believe that the government is a satanic death cult hell bent on world domination and human extinction, then all that other stuff doesn't matter. Your dis, your, all the previous stuff, the distrust of the government, the want, the desire to rein everything back, to rein everything back, and and keep within the regulations of the constitution, that doesn't matter. If you don't, if you don't believe everything they believe, you're a sheeple, you're a shill, you're a troll, you're brainwashed. That wanting to string up every politician to them is is the moderate position. That like the like, oh my gosh, the the, the, sink, the sinking of the Titanic. Like, the, the government and the Rothschild sank the Titanic to kill these three anti-Federal Reserve politicians because there couldn't possibly have been an easier way to kill three people then spend four years and millions of dollars building the largest self-propelled object on Earth and then sinking it on its maiden voyage just, just to get these three people. Yeah, 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 a, a, a political slander, a political slander campaign, make them, lo make them lose an election to take them out, out of the uh, public sphere, uh, poison their breakfast and kill them. No, no, that's... That that we, we 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 can't we can't do that. That that's too high profile. Instead instead let's break a world record, building the largest ship on Earth, and then destroy it ourselves. Sink literally sinking all that cash, into getting rid of these three people. Then I guess there, there's there's this very, very little very limited, understanding of chemistry or physics like the. Uh, like the, uh, what was it, uh, right, what was it, uh, uh, mercury and, like, the mercury and vaccines cause, like, mercury and vaccines causing autism. Now, now, right, right, right off the bat, the, the, right off the bat, their logic is, their logic seems very, their logic seems very sound. Mercury is toxic, mercury is toxic, vaccine, vaccines have mercury in them, thus vaccines are toxic. It's, 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 it seems very airtight and logical until you find, until you find, until you find out that both sodium and chlorine are toxic to hum, are toxic to humans, and salt, common table salt, like it's the salt you put on your french fries, salt you put on a potato, just sea salt is made of sodium and chlorine. That's what it is, sodium chloride. Even the freaking TV show Jimmy Neutron figured figured this out. But no, no, it it has a chemically sciencey sounding name. So well, there must be some mad scientist cooking up all these chemicals. Or the con or 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 that or that if you spray or that if you like try to spray chemicals out of an airplane at 30,000 feet, you're not going to hit the people that are directly below the plane. 
there's this thing up, there's this thing at 30,000 feet, this really weird phenomenon called wind, air currents, the jet stream, that will push these chemicals away from, they'll push these chemicals for hundreds, if not thousands of miles away from where you spray them before any quantity of it even reaches the ground. And but and and but and by the time it and by the time it does reach the ground, it's been so mixed with the air it's been so mixed with the air around it, so spread out and swirled up in the atmosphere, it's not even gonna gonna reach the ground in any meaningful concentration. But that's but that's that's also part of the uh, part of the mental part of the mentality that no all ke all chemicals are like all chemicals are bad dosage like dosage doesn't matter that 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 any any quant that 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 despite that despite despite the uh, concentration of fluoride in toothpaste being two thousand times more being 2,000 times higher than the concentration of fluoride in water, now they're, they're both equally as toxic. No concept of balanced equations or molar, con or molar concentration. But no, no, they've done the research. They've done the research. A couple videos of Sci... a couple videos of SciShow maybe one or two episodes of Bill Nye the Science Guy before they decided to disregard everything Bill Nye says after he, after he uh, started advocating action against uh, climate change. Then there, there are a, a, a couple... I, I don't know if I'd call them like armor-piercing questions. Like, like... If the New World Order is trying to exterminate 90% of the human race, then even if they succeed and 90% of all humanity is gone, how will the New World Order superstate continue to be functional? How will it remain funded? I mean, the, the, the U.S. government today uh, operates on a $3 trillion budget. If 90% of the American population were to vanish and government revenue drops, to three hundred billion dollars a year, they couldn't even fund the current size of our. Mi they couldn't even fund the current size of the military, let alone everything else. If ninety percent, if ninety percent of, if ninety percent of the popul, if ninety percent of the population, is is wiped out, there goes the global economy. That all these elites' status as billionaires and trillionaires won't mean anything won't mean anything because they've wiped out their consumer bases. McDonald's would have wiped out their their consumer base. Everyone who eats their burgers and gives them their money is gone. Everyone everyone who gives the utility companies their money for electricity and appliances is gone. It's also one of the biggest questions asked in uh, asked concerning the concerning the resident the resident evil series of games and mo of games and movies the umbrella corporations wiped out everyone on earth who are they trying to be evil to they've wiped out everyone on earth who is left to control who is left to sell to to buy from where are they getting the money for this research, or are all the employees and all the new world order bureaucrats just gonna keep working without pay or with a 90% pay drop because because I mean the only way to the only way to make up the loss in revenue would be to instate a 300% tax on everyone who on the last 10% but a 300% tax is physically impossible you can't take more than there is to take and then television just television what what I mean they're like, oh my gosh, it's 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 not nothing nothing but com like nothing but communist brain nothing but communist brainwashing. Communist brainwashing. What about ru what about Rugrats? What about Adventure Time is communist New World Order indoctrination? As freaking Jake the Dog stretches into like noodleifies himself trying to navigate a maze and keep track of keep track of, of, of where they've been, where they're going. What about 
I, I mean, what, where in the freaking Fresh Prince of Bel Air is there Jewish New World Order programming as as like the dad fantasizes about meatloaf and mashed potatoes, or or the characters are freaking dancing, right? right are, are dancing to Happy Days. I mean, if, if 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 you mean new, if you mean news media, then call it news media. Don't just lump all television under un, under the same under the same um under the same umbrella. Because then, because that, because 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 then you're putting you're putting Steven Universe, the Rugrats, the Fairly Odd Parents, under the under the same umbrella of communist brainwashing. It's like, oh my gosh, the media, it's like media blackout, media blackout, they're, they're, they're not, like, the media isn't talking about this, they're trying to suppress the information, they're trying to suppress the information, yet you pride, you pride your, they pride themselves on never watching mainstream news, so how do they know what the mainstream news is even talking about? Imagine, Im Im imagine, imagine, like, the mainstream news is this cardboard or wooden box and the conspiracy theorist is looking at this box and he says to a person next to him, what I'm looking for is not in this box. And the other person says, well, how about you open it, take a look and find out for yourself. And the theorist, and the theorist says, no, I'm never looking in that box. Then how do you know what's in it? How do you know what they're talking about if you refuse to watch them? Despite, I mean, I mean, I've, I mean, I've seen, I mean, I've watched some episode, I watched some shows from Bill Maher, from Bill Maher. He talks about these things, okay? He, t he talks, he talked about, he talked about the MH370, the, uh, the MH370, MH17, the Israeli invasion of Gaza, the, bo uh, the, uh, Latino child border, uh, border crisis. He's not suppressing the information. He's not keeping quiet about it. But even if, but even if the media does does talk, but even if the media does talk about it, or even if the media does talk about it, they the theorists still the theorists still claim, oh well, then the the media's lying about it. They're making it up. So damned if they do, damned if they don't. If the media doesn't talk about it, doesn't talk about a story, then it's a media blackout. They're suppressing information they don't want you to know. But if they do talk about, but if they do talk about it, don't listen to them anyway. Then still, don't listen to them because they're lying about it. So what do you want? Do you want them to talk about it, or do you don't, or do you not want them to talk about it? But that, but but that, but but that's just, but that's just it. Every, but that's just it. Everything, everything is a conspiracy. There's no such thing as human error. There are no mistakes. No one has ever done anything wrong or ever made a mistake. No, no, no. Everything is planned. My, like, no, no. Everything is planned. The world is secure. I am safe because the New World Order is, has plans for me. I don't know how people can think like this. They claim to be free thinkers. They, they claim to be free thinkers, but then label anyone who doesn't think like them a sheeple, a slave, a shill, brainwashed, on fluoride, drunk the Kool-Aid. And they all have the same herd, and I mean, they are not awakened, they are not conscious, they haven't, they haven't been rescued from sheeplehood. They've simply created a new herd. And, and despite all the threats and what they claim to stand for, they're not doing it, they're not doing anything. Very rarely do they ever, pro do they ever protest, very rarely do they ever protest the most work they've ever done towards such an end is press like on a Facebook image macro or me or cons or meme made conspiracy it's just we're s stuck with a bunch of armchair revolutionaries waiting for someone else to start a revolution and uh, d uh Waiting for someone else to start a revolution. It's, it's going to be just like just like in just like in the movies, like re just like in the movies, like Red like Red Dawn. Going to be going to be like camping out in the woods with their buddies with their guns and 
and they're going to be hunting New World Order goons by day and laughing and eating pork and beans out of a can around a campfire at night. They're not going to be uh, li li living in a cave, scared out of their minds that a tomahawk missile is going to fly through is going to fly through the front entrance and vaporize everyone inside. That 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 when that when you start that when you start shooting at soldier that when you start shooting at soldiers they don't dumb they don't dumbly keep standing out in the open randomly swinging their guns around at the bill at the windows of the surrounding buildings they jump to cover re they jump to cover regroup and then hunt you down. This isn't a movie. It's not going to be like Red Dawn, where a bunch of teenagers are outperforming the Red Army. And they're just, just so, so freaking lazy. Just, just so freaking lazy about it. I mean, I've been on, I've been on, inf I've been on Infowars, and I've seen comment, I've seen comments, and I've seen comments where, where people, where people are like, where people are like, is, is it, is it time to revolt? Is it time to revolt yet? I'm tired of waiting. When's someone gonna start the revolution? You're waiting for someone else to do it. Is that how little you care that you're waiting for someone else to do that you're waiting for someone else to get it started so that you can jump on the bandwagon just for fun? That's how I know. That's how I know they don't care. They don't give a damn. Even for the even for their own cause. This they're not serious about this. It's it's entertainment to them. They get entertainment off the adrenaline of fear like a horror like like a horror movie right L like watching a horror movie at the theater oh the new world is coming to get you they're coming to get you they're coming to get you it's always imminent for the past 50 years the new world order is planning to depopulate the whole planet since the ninth since since the 40s yet the human population has tripled since the 40s and has no, and shows no sign of slowing down but disregard that they're coming for you they're going to do it it's imminent they're using they're using fluoride and vaccines and gmos to weaken the human race which and which will be rendered completely meaningless a waste of time i mean a waste of time and resources when they just start a nuclear war and vaporize the planet's surface cuz all the chemtrails, vaccines, and GMOs will be meaningless if they just, if they ultimately end up just engulfing the world in nuclear fire. Okay? So what in the world are they doing? Are they, are, are they using GMOs and vaccines and chemtrails or, or are they just gonna glass the, pl or are they just gonna glass the planet with nukes? Make up, make up your minds. Come on now.